Hi everyone, my name is Megan Court and I am the Student Success Technology Specialist for Seattle College's district. I help students and staff learn how to use Starfish as well as other technology tools. I'm here to talk to you today about how students can access and use Starfish to connect with student services and hopefully you'll leave here having a better understanding of what you use Starfish to do and where to find resources if you need support. As a student, you'll use Starfish to connect with student services on campus. Mainly, you'll be using it to connect with advising, tutoring, financial aid, as well as your instructors. You can find information about all different service providers on campus, and you can find information about their hours, when they're available to schedule appointments, when they're available for drop-in hours, and how to access virtual drop-in tutoring and drop-in advising. You'll use it to look at all of your current and past courses, which includes your grades and credits and tutoring services associated with those courses. You'll find your primary advisor and any other academic or secondary support folks that are connected to you in the system. You'll also look at digital to-do items and success plans that have been assigned by your advising teams. And you'll also be able to access all of your messages about your appointments and any other tracking items that have been sent through the system to you. So really it's an easy way for students to connect with the folks on campus who are there to support them. There are three things you need to know to use Starfish. The first thing is your My Seattle College's username and password, which you do need your student ID and PIN to either create or reset the password. So not only does this account give you access to Starfish, where you'll find all of student services, but it also gives you access to your Seattle College's email and Outlook an Office 365 account, which gives you Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneDrive with one terabyte of digital storage. When we're on campus, this account also gives you access to Wi-Fi and campus computers. It also gives us remote access to log into any computer lab from anywhere in the world. The second thing you need to know to use Starfish is where to log in. There are Starfish links all over the web pages, you'll find them on the advising pages, on the tutoring pages, on the student pages. There's IT service pages that have the Starfish links. You should know that any Starfish link on the Seattle College's web pages will bring you to the same Starfish. So you can log into any Seattle College's Starfish link. It's the same same thing. And number three, don't be afraid to click around. You're not going to break anything. If you're not sure what you're doing, that's okay. There are videos in Starfish for you to watch. There are videos outside of Starfish for you to watch, but as long as you're clicking within your account, you're not gonna break it. All right, let's get started. Go to your campus's webpage. Click on Students on the top navigation bar. At the top, you're gonna find your most important icons. If you need to use myself, there's a Canvas icon, a can icon for the library, to the academic calendar, your My Seattle College's login, you want to log into your Office 365, Starfish, and the Student Handbook. So all these icons are here. Again, they're on the Students page, which you can access from the top navigation bar on the website. Just know that these may be specific to campus. There's also some panels that have more information. So if you're looking for academic and career information, if you're looking for advising information, if you want to just log into Starfish, there's another Starfish link here. You can look for transcripts, e-learning, there's all kinds of good stuff here. Registration and enrollment, if you need information about financial aid and funding, there's a financial aid portal. All of these links are here in these panels. There's also technology resources. There's information about all of the tools that you may use linked here. There's also a page for Starfish help. So if you have Starfish questions, there's a bunch of videos, explains how to log in. To log into Starfish, click the Starfish icon on the student page. Enter your Seattle College's username and password. Do not include the at seattlecolleges.edu. And then click login. If you have problems logging in or need to reset your Seattle College's password, there is an IT services link on the left that takes you directly to your Seattle College's login management, where you can reset your password. But if you know your, your username and password, you can click Login. You're brought to the My Success Network screen. And this is going to show the advisors, your current instructors, and any other folks on campus you're connected to through Starfish. 
in your connections. You'll also see the services that you're connected to that are most relevant to you. And I wanna highlight the first service that all students see, the ABCs of Starfish Resources for Students. If you click on this service and open it, you'll find me, your handy Starfish System Administrator for the district, but you'll also find how-to videos for students. So if you're not sure how to do something, it's a good idea to check out one of these videos. You can also find the IT Help Desk email here. You could also email me if you have a question. Keep in mind that I'm not an advisor, so I can't answer advising questions, but if you have questions about how to use Starfish, I'm a great person to ask. To get back to your service screen, click the arrow in the top left of your screen and that's taking you back to your success network. So you look through here, you can see different folks you're connected to, the different services, there's tutoring, financial aid. You can find people and services that you don't see in your services in two ways. The first way is typing someone's name or the service name in the search bar at the top. and then clicking to open that service or profile. You can also scroll to the bottom of your services and click the button that says show other services. Clicking this button expands the service list to all the services across the district that are in Starfish. So if you open the service page, you'll see hours, which may have you know live chat or drop-in times listed, contact information, locations, which again might have a link directly to their online drop-in hours. Um, you'll also see all the team members that work for that student services area listed alphabetically by last name. And then below the, the team members, you'll get an overview. So this is a, a general overview of what you can get at that service. This is a general overview of how that student services area can support you, as well as important information about accessing that service. You'll use the menu icon on the top left to navigate to the other sections of your Starfish account. So if you click the arrow next to your name, that's gonna open up your profile where you can click edit profile. And here you can find your contact information. All of this information comes from our student management system. So if you would like to update your information, you need to update it in our student management system. You can also update your appointment notifications you will automatically receive confirmation emails about any appointments that you schedule or any updates to those appointments. But if you'd like to receive appointment reminders, you can also do that here by checking the box next to remind me before the start. And then you can save your changes by clicking save changes at the bottom right. Then use the menu icon to navigate to the other sections of your Starfish account. Your dashboard will show you upcoming appointments, and any other time-sensitive information or anything with due dates in the system. If you click on the item on your calendar, it'll show you more information. So here's an appointment. You could view the details or cancel from this page. You can also look at all of your notifications, so any tracking items, to-dos, notifications, referrals that have come through the system. These are digital items that have been assigned to you by your advisors or raised by your instructors. You'll also be able to see your connections, the same connections in your success network and services as well. And at the bottom, you'll be able to see your kudos. From your menu icon, you can also access your upcoming appointments. You can view them here. If you click on them, you could cancel or make changes if you wanna change location. Remember, any changes will be sent via email as well to both your Seattle colleges and your personal email address. If you do make changes, make sure you save those changes by clicking the Save Changes button at the bottom of the screen. You can also find any messages that have been sent through Starfish and using the Message button. This will show any updates, any messages about your appointments. It's a good idea to check your Starfish account frequently in case you've missed something in your email. You can find all those messages here and you can also find your upcoming appointments in the upcoming appointments screen. You can also view any success plans that have been assigned to you by your advisors. These plans are simple checklists of items that have been put together to help students complete things in the order that they need to be completed. You can also look at your courses from your menu icon. 
So click on the courses tab and that's going to show you all of your courses. Um, you'll see your instructors here and then also any of your past grades and any tutoring centers that are associated with that course. You can also click on the center to find more information about it and to find a tutor. Let's look at how to make an appointment with your advisor. So to make an appointment with your advisor, you can look for your advisor in your connections, hover or click over the three dot menu, click schedule, or you can open your advisor's profile page to look at their office hours and click schedule an appointment using the button on the left. This is going to open up the different kinds of appointments that they have available. Some advisors advise for multiple programs, so make sure that you choose the right advising appointments or the right kind of appointments that you need. You'll be able to expand the appointment to see the different reasons. So use the arrow on the right to expand to choose the reason for your appointment. Click on the appointment, then click continue at the bottom right. This is going to open up all the different times in, the, in a given week or two weeks that are available for that appointment reason. Find a time that works for you and then click continue on the bottom right. This is going to ask you to confirm the date and time, the location, and the reason for the visit. If you need to change the reason, if you've chosen the wrong reason, you can click change and that's going to bring you back to that other page to choose a different reason. You can also give a little information advisor about why you need the appointment. Then click confirm on the bottom right and that's going to confirm the appointment. You can, from this page, you can change the appointment, you could return to the main services page, or you can view all your upcoming appointments. So here I have two upcoming appointments with my advisor. If I need to cancel them or update them, I can click on them here. To log out of Starfish, you'll go back to the little arrow next to your name and click log out. This brings you to the IT services page for your MySatal College's login, but there's all kinds of great resources here, including a page about Starfish. Thank you for watching this video today. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.